Welcome to another edition of Lazing is Amazing with Dr. Glenn Ass. Today's topic of the video will be class 2 preparation for gastric teeth. As you can see from the preoperative photograph, there are interproximal lesions on the upper left primary first molar, DO, and upper left primary second molar, MO. These are treated without any local anesthetic utilizing the I-plus laser. Initial settings were low to try and prevent any discomfort for the child because then sometimes on a seven-year-old it can be difficult to complete the procedure without anesthetic. So the settings were 1.5 watts, 15 hertz, 10 hertz, H mode with copious amounts of water and air. Initially we're outlining the area where we feel we're going to create our preparation. We're using an MZ5 tip, about 9 millimeters long, and using the uh, laser energy to open up the box. Our hand movements should be slow, small circular movements with plunging action to remove the deeper portions of decay. You can see an auto matrix metal band that circumferentially is around the tooth and this helps prevent a scatter onto the adjacent tooth and actually helps focus the laser energy as it rebounds off the metal to increase the speed of the cut. The laser energy is used to create some analgesia so that later on in the procedure we can use some slow speed round burrs to remove any of the last amount of decay before finally using the laser to, to clean the surface with our bonding prep settings. You can see again here as we open up the distal on the first primary molar that we're using caution at the gingival area to prevent bleeding which can interfere with our bonding process. So again magnification is crucial here to allow yourself to see ideally where you're prepping and to prevent yourself from cutting too deep into proximally and creating some bleeding. After the preparations are opened up, slow speed round burr is used and then the bond prep settings are used to create a nice clean environment for bonding. You can see the final restorations in place here, composite resins that were used and done completely without any form of local anesthetic, much to the child and the parent's uh, wishes. Thanks again for watching and keep lazing, it's amazing.